come on. Okay. Right, okay. This is to see his king of the flat once and for all, okay? Okay. Then when he gets to kiss me. Ready, go! Peter, you're not trying. Push. What did it go for? Okay, you can kiss me now. No, no, that wasn't fair. Now I'll have to go again with left hands. You hear that? What? I don't know, some sort of music or something. I don't hear anything. Aren't you going to kiss me? No, no, I gave in this morning. I'm not a kissing machine. I've been to a lot of interesting places, but I don't think I've ever had the pleasure of visiting 
Puna Flat. My name's Billy Cross. If you don't mind, we'd like to play something for you. Like the music? It was the best thing I ever heard. What's your name? John Anderson. You ever try music, John? You should try one day. You seem tuned into us, John. Dépêche toi, Billy Cross. Tout le monde t'attend. Gotta go now, John. Before they take off and leave me. Nice meeting you.
Mr. Cross, why? If you ever come to Paris, look me up. Get his autograph. But our work cut out for us, Diz. He's been educated. Come on, boy. Place as any. Have you sent that letter off to Billy Cross yet? Yeah. Johnny would think he'd had all his birthdays at once if he got a personal letter from his idol. Yeah, with Archie working in the post office, I'm always surprised a letter gets anywhere. <laughs> If 
I ever explained to you about the educated dog? I came across one today. Sometimes a trap is too sharp or a dingo is left too long and it chews through its leg to get away. Three legged dogs are the worst kind because they're too smart to get trapped again and too slow to go after anything but sheep. I hope you like the tape that comes with this letter. Qu'est-ce que tu es australien Le Vericard Bonjour, monsieur Boulin C'est un souhait ou c'est un ordre Encore des histoires de dingo <rire> C'est sa femme. Elle voudrait que Billy envoie une carte d'anniversaire pour son mari. Ah, ben on va tout savoir sur leur progéniture. Où tu as mis la graffeuse ah, Regarde sur ton bureau. Ah, ben voilà, ben voilà. Je pense pas que ça embêterait Billy en tout cas. Mais non, on ne fait pas suivre les lettres d'admirateur où on irait. Jette-moi ça. Merci beaucoup. Je vais pouvoir commencer un album de timbre australien. Au revoir, Madame Boulin. Au revoir, Paul. Au revoir. Au revoir. How do you like that? Supporting act for a dog. Never mind, I'll get back for dinner. How was the time? You kids take your time out there! Hey! Sorry to interrupt you, but there's someone here to see you. Don't you remember, Peter? You don't look too rich. Uh, not as rich as I'd like to be. Wonder how much he's changed. Now, some of those boats you sell, they cost more than a million dollars. 
You ever wondered what would have happened if you'd married him instead of me? Mm-hmm. You have. Mm-hmm, of course. You know, I can't imagine you swanning around those cocktail parties, drinking champagne, eating fish eggs. You'd be bored in a month. A month can be a very long time. Ow! What's wrong? You did that on purpose. Oh, I didn't. Let me see. Ow. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Oh, kiss it better. Oh. Darling, when I sell one of my songs, <laughs> you'd be swimming in champagne. I'd settle for a new washing machine. Whatever you want. I've heard that before. Yeah? And you've always believed me. Sort of the ideal family car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Norma! They're really very like good, considering none of them have had proper training. <laughs> what sort of music do you play? Oh, a bit of everything, really. Sort of cross between country and western, rock and roll, folk, blues, <laughs> jazz. What, no Mozart? <laughs> well, we don't get many requests for him, actually. <laughs> yeah, boys, you like it? <laughs> They're called Dingo and the Dusters. Yeah, and I'm Dingo. That was one of the worst things I... No, no. That was the worst thing I've ever heard. She'll be right on the night. In my bloody oath, she'll be right on the night. Because I'm not standing up here making a fool of myself while the rest of you learn how to play. And I thought I told you to tune that damn thing. Look, if you don't want to play, we'll find someone else who does, all right? Johnny, it's not that bad. We'll fix him. Stop it, you'll scare the neighbours.
in the backyard a few years ago, chopping wood. A splinter flew up and hit me in the eye. Well, Jane took me to see the eye doctor. It was on the end of his district run. He's told me about a case he'd had a few weeks earlier. Well, this bloke came in, a big piece of jagged metal wedged in his eye. My doc asked him what had happened. And he reckoned that he and a friend had been in the bush. His friend was chopping wood. Well, this bloke said that what had happened was a piece of the axe head, broken off, come up and hit him in the eye. Now, doc didn't believe him, though. There was something strange about the metal. It didn't look manufactured. So he took it to get it analysed. You know what it was? No, what? A piece of meteor. <laughs> Must have been about the unluckiest bloke on earth. And you believe that? Yeah. Why not? By media. <laughs> Save me a lot of grief. Johnny, you know how you had those dreams about going to Paris and playing with Billy Cross and all that? Well, what happened to that? That's all you ever talked about. No, I still think about it. Sometimes when I'm practicing, I go to Paris. I can see myself on a stage in some nightclub playing next to him. Johnny, Johnny, Johnny. You're a dreamer. You always were and always will be. <laughs> Think so? Yep. Tell you something I never told anyone else before. What's that? Not even Jane. I've been saving money ever since that concert on the runway. Keep it stashed under my cot, locked up in the caravan. <laughs> See, it's my Paris money. How much you got? More than three thousand dollars. Got a passport too. See, all the time I've been saving, and I always figured if I kept saving, there's always a chance I might go. <sighs> well, now Jane's thinking of sending the girls off to school, so. That's that one gone. But what I reckon is I can filter it back in slowly over the months. You never know I was holding out. Well, you'd be losing a fortune just in interest. Why don't you just put it in the bank? Can't do that, mate. Why not? Jane's good friends with a bank manager. I'd get caught. <laughs> Gotta be smart. Je suppose que tu lui as envoyé la lettre de l'Australienne. Bah oui, alors. Je pensais t'avoir dit de ne pas le faire. Bon, écoute, j'ai quand même mon mot à dire. Hein. Je te jure que si tu n'étais pas ma femme, je t'enverrais valser. Bon, maintenant, crois à temps qu'on lui fasse parvenir tout ce que nous avons sur ton petit protégé. Dingo Anderson. Oui, bon, ben, regarde ce que tu trouves. Hein, et tout de suite. Pour me faire valser, il faudrait déjà m'inviter à danser. Hein C'est à moi que tu parles Ah non, non, à moi-même. Comme d'habitude. Je veux savoir la dernière chose que mon père a dit à moi, juste avant que je parte. Il a dit, boy, le grass n'est pas plus vert ni autre part. I thought you would have sold this place after your father died. I had this idea of fixing it up a bit and bringing Tom and Lydia out here. Take a fair bit of fixing. <laughs> Feels funny seeing you walking around up out here. 
after reading about you in the newspapers. I read about your boat. I see photos of you and Lydia at society functions. Does Lydia work? She manages an estate agency. She's very pretty from all the pictures. She left I me, saw. Jane. Just went off with this other guy. And... Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I, I wonder, you know, what it would have been like if I'd stayed here. Would you have married me? <laughs> you might not have asked me. But if I did. I guess we'll never know, will we? Here, I'll give you a push. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I hope you build your yachts better than you build your swings. Peter. I'm sorry. I guess we were better at that as kids, eh? <laughs> as I recall, you used to run a mile. Your thanks, Liz. There you go. Well, what's up with you? you look like the cat who swallowed the canary. your eyes on this, boy. Go on. Nice, loud voice. Listen to this. <laughs> Dear Mr. Anderson, I loved your latest tune. Yep. Most original and exciting music we've heard in a long time. Yep. Contracts to follow. Contracts. Congratulations, Jacques Boulain. Yeah. Isn't that that agent you've been writing? That's the one. That's great, great Dingo. Yeah, yeah, congratulations. Bloody oh, believe it. Yeah, well, Dingo, never believed until now, but... Seeing is believing. Congratulations, mate. I tell you, it's the happiest bloody day of my life, aren't you? Wait till I tell Jane and the girls. All right, drinks are on me as much as you can hold. Very kind of you, Dingo. Hey, hold on a minute. He's buying, only buying for the band. Nah, fuck it, drinks for everybody. Dingo Anderson's the name. Look for it at your local record shop, boys. You better be careful. You don't want to go spending all your money before you get it. Oh, don't worry about that, mate. It's spent. Have a look at this. How did you pay for all that? Pay for it? Put it on credit! And wait till you see this. Let's get out of here. Hey? <laughs> hey, there you go, mate. No hard feelings. Well, do you like it? <laughs> well, yeah. Do you really like it? Yeah! Right! <laughs> now let's do some drinking, hey? Yo! Where's yeah. the boys? Look. You better take this back. Take it back. No, mate, it's all yours. No more excuses, right? Come on, everyone, back inside! Holy shit, he's here. Ruth, lock all the doors. I tell you I'd get you a new washing machine. Then you're gonna have to take the whole lot back. I didn't steal it. I bought it. <laughs> Archie and the boys made the telegram up. It's just a rotten joke, what? Johnny, that got out I of hand. No harm. Bullshit, hang on, listen. No, they couldn't have. I've got it here. There you go, read that. No, you read it. No, go on, I can't see it, really. Um, dear Mr. Anderson, 
Look, Ruth's been over. Archie's very sorry. He didn't think he'd quite take it this far. Got out of hand, John. You mean it? Yeah, it's just a joke. Sorry, darling. Oh, I'm dead. It'd serve you bloody well right. He started it. Just keep him outside till he cools off. Mm. He's really mad. I hope you've learned something out of this. Just shut up. Come on, if you don't open it, I'll break it down. Archie! Archie knows he went too far and he's willing to help pay for the drinks. You didn't have to buy for everybody in town. You can't stay up there forever. You brought it on yourself. The way you were showing off for your rich friend. We're just a bush band. We're never gonna get any better. We just like playing, that's all. How do we know you're gonna buy all that stuff? I'm warning you, Archie. You ever do anything like that again, and I'll punch your face in. <sighs> hey, Dingo. Thanks for the guitar. <laughs> Of course not. Here the dog? No, I didn't, mate. No way. Oh, I'll bother it. Yes, I could. Go on. Good thing is. It's the hardest part's been away for so long, isn't it? Why don't you come down to Perth and work for me? Well, yeah, doing what? <clears throat> I don't know. I'm juggling a whole lot of things I could always do with someone I can trust. I guarantee you'll make more than you're making here. What do you mean, move to Perth? Can't pay you unless you're there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can sort it all out. I can get a house, school for Joe and Emma, the whole lot. Look, thanks, Peter, but, um... <clears throat> I don't really want to move to Perth. Yeah, well... Suppose you're still dreaming of going to Paris? <laughs> you want to wake up to yourself, Johnny? You're this oddball who sits in a caravan out the back here pretending to be Billy Cross. You've got no future in that. Yeah, well, I... Just my surprise you and prove you wrong one day. I don't see why you have to prove anything to anybody. You want to pack everything up and move to some tin pot city on the sea, do you? Do you want to know why you hey? never went to Paris? Oh, tell me, Peter. Because I reckon you're scared. And what scared the bloody hell would you know about it? Am I really? Yeah. Tell me. Well, what's stopping you? You got time, you got the money. Three thousand's more than enough to get what you is there. This? <sighs> Thanks, Peter. <laughs> That's great. Who's got three thousand? You got three thousand dollars. I got three thousand dollars. Yeah. Well, did you get this three thousand dollars. Let's just forget about it. Did you get three thousand dollars? You kept it to yourself. Like, we need that money. Yeah, I bloody need it too. All right. What for? What for? Oh, Jesus. We'll talk about it later. All right. Oh, fuck you. I'm not going to Perth. No one's going to bloody Perth. Get it out of your head.
sais, je me fais du souci pour Pépé. Il a commencé à tousser pendant la promenade. Et regarde, il a la truffe toute chaude. Oui, mais t'aurais pas dû sortir par ce temps. Oh, le malade, mon bichon. T'inquiète pas, je vais lui faire un lait chaud. Oui, mais pas trop chaud. Des coups de fil euh, Billy, il veut envoyer un billet d'avion à Dingo. Dingo Dingo, l'Australien. Et un billet pour où Pour Mars. Qu'est-ce que tu crois pour Paris J'ai envoyé un télégramme. And you're going to take that stuff back. The longer we keep it, the harder it's going to be to return. You want to know what really shits me? It wasn't the joke, but that no one, not even my own bloody wife, thought for one minute that I might have sold a song. You've been laughing at me just like the rest of them. I have not. Oh, not on the outside, but on the inside you have. Oh, for God's sake, Johnny, grow up.
<laughs> Suddenly songs lightly. <laughs> Edgar Anderson, Telegram. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it, I swear. Don't say I didn't warn you. Now, there's no need to run for the door. I'm not going to guess bag for long. I've just got a few thank yous. Firstly, to Merrill and Steve Thornton for putting up the trestle tables. <laughs> Merrill, I hope your back's better now. <laughs> Porky Chubbs, who's out the back cooking the snags on the barbie. And to Janie Anderson, thanks for that beaut lament, it's lovely. Billy Thompson for providing the ice to keep the tinnies cool. And to you, Mum, for keeping the kids out from under our feet. Oh, and Puna's Ladies Auxiliary for making that mountainous sandwiches we're going to devour. <laughs> Who else? Oh, of course. And to Dingo and the Dusters for giving us something to dance to. Well, I think that's it. It's all yours, fellas. It's all yours, fellas. <clears throat> One, two, three. <laughs>
That was our own Dingo Anderson on trumpet. My gal fell. One, two, three, four. My gal Val, you know she said she loved me. My gal Val, you know she said she cared. But she took my heart and broke it in four places. When she took off with the best friend I ever had. You were good, Johnny. Just no one was expecting it. Sure. What happened to Peter? He's gone home. What do you mean, home? He's gone back to Perth. Why'd he do that? told him to go. Why? Because he's in love with me, that's why. Joe McCarthy needs a hand with some fencing. Sheep keep getting knocked over by cars. Who's that at Bundaby? Pay's good. Shouldn't be more than a week. Well, what about your birthday? Yeah, I'll be back by then. You'd better be. The girls are planning a surprise party. Surprise party, eh? Well, I'm off like a dirty shirt. if you get a chance. I oh, will.
What did Payne find here? Petrol station. says you're in love with her. Is that true? Shit, Johnny. I don't know. I, I've been so mixed up lately. I don't know what I'm doing or saying half the time. Is Jane with you? No, she's home. You want to come on board? that it might be better to have a dream rather than actually find out it's all a load of shit. I need you to look after my dog and stay away from my wife. Jacques Boulan, oui? Mais c'est fermé ici. Closed? Yes, closed. You don't understand. I have to see uh, Jacques Monday. Boulan. Monday. No, no. Monday. Sorry. Excuse me. Monday. No, no, you, you don't understand.
think he's dead. Australia. Now, we met a long time ago and you said, uh, <laughs> if ever you're in Paris, look me up. So, here I am in Paris. Uh -huh. <laughs> now, let me think. No guts, no glory. Hello? Ha, ha. Hey, Max. Max, quick, quick. What was she saying, this lady? You want to leave a message? Too late. Depth charge. Take care now. Sorry if I kept you up.
Il arrête Il ne peut pas jouer à la trompette ici, il arrête Well, Mr. Dingo, you have already seen more of Paris than most tourists. Look, I'm sorry about this, Mrs. Cross, but, well, yours was the only number I had. If you could have answered our telegram, we could have made arrangements. <laughs> you mean the second telegram was yours? Second telegram? You sure this isn't too much trouble? Oh, no. Billy wants to meet you. Come with me. You sure? Sure, sure, sure. Billy sleeps during the day. Right. Sit down. Do you want something to drink? Cup of coffee? I'll have some tea if you have any. Oh, yes. Come back. Why don't you just tell me? I need you with me, Jane. You all I think about. I love you, Jane. I love you, and I can give you anything you want. Anything. We can go wherever you want to be.
sorry I uh, slept so long on your couch. You know that old expression, the grass is green on the other side? Yeah. It's true. Here you look down, you see grass and dirt. You look straight ahead, you see green grass. Think about it. Bring to the parish. Came to see you. Oh, me. Me. You're the reason I started playing. I got every record you ever made. It's a gift from one hip Maharaja. Like a work of art. Play me a C. 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 I do a lot better when I'm warmed up. Don't you play trumpet anymore? Trumpet. I don't play trumpet. I am hungry. That's where they got to. Hmm? All the top end, that huge region. Well, that was all sheep country once. Well, now it's cattle country right down to Mekathara. Now, the place I showed you on the map. We well, see the dingo, he's moving so far south. Well, as sometimes I wouldn't be surprised to see him strolling through the main streets of Perth. Whatever happened to that educated dingo uh -huh. that you wrote so much about? He's a special one. Like you. Too smart, too slow. <laughs> <laughs> too smart, I don't know. Too slow, yeah. Yeah, he's like me. I remember you. You do? Yes. Six to nine. The Japanese were crazy about us. And we stopped and played a concert on the runway in the desert. And you were there. I sure remember you. You know, I wonder so many times what my life would have been like if... if your plane hadn't accidentally landed. There are no accidents. None. G'day, Joe. It's Janie here, Janie Anderson. Yeah. <laughs> Fine, thanks, yeah. Oh, it's all right, yeah. Yeah. Listen, is John there? 
No, that's a saucepan. No. No, no. Oh, he's nice. been waylaid somewhere, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll yeah, I'll tell him. All right then, bye now. Let's drive. I think we're driving. Good night, Ingo. I hope you find Paris so exciting as you're out back. <laughs> You know, when I first got this car, everybody thought it was shit because it was made in Germany. But now, there's a fuck, and mine's still running. <laughs> Your cassette player work? Yeah, it works. <clears throat> I brought a tape of my music. Wait a minute. I don't hear. Why don't you want to hear it? Because if I say I like it, you're going to think I'm being nice. And if I say I don't like it, you're going to be hurt. You don't need my opinion. Look, ever since that concert at Burner Flat, I've been practicing trumpet. I just want to know if I'm even halfway good. And then what? I come here and make a living. You've been here for 24 hours, and half the time's been spent in jail. You must really be a positive thinker. Well, what's wrong with that? Nothing. You don't play publicly anymore. You know what a stroke is? Sure I do. I reached for a beer in Munich. And my head kept going down, 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 down. After playing the same old shit for 40 years, my soul had pulled a switch on me. I was coming to a jazz museum piece. I called it the stroke myself. And it was just like a brand new start for me. So after six months in the cocoon, I was able to sleep four hour shifts, integrate my dreams with my music. And now it's like a new start. Everything is fresh. Well, I don't think you should drive it. What's that over there? Club. A jazz club. Jazz club. Everyone works there when they come to Paris. I did my first gig there. Wouldn't mind hearing some music. Don't go in the clubs. Don't go in. What you afraid of? Nothing.
must like you.
Luna Flat. <laughs> you sure you have the right number? Silly was the first time I heard it. That's right. What a sound, huh? Yeah. Kenny Clark. No, no. Kenny was gay. No. Messi. Kluke. Mitchell always playing bass. Yeah. <laughs> My fault is it? Right. Yeah. yeah. And she came him? down <laughs> through the glass <laughs> and missed. Hey, wow. Yeah, I, I like what you do with your trumpet, man. <laughs> Thank you. That dingle thing. That's, uh -huh. Yeah, that's me, baby. That's me. Well, that's pretty buddy, dude. <laughs> Listen, if you're in town next week when I'm on, you want to sit down? You got it. We love it. Take it, <laughs> coach. We take his job. <laughs> you mean that? <laughs> <laughs> just wish my wife could have heard me. I really do. It could be pretty hard for you here. You don't think I'm good enough? I didn't say that. It's not that you aren't good enough. It's not gonna sound the same here. What you bought with you was the dingo sounds and outback sounds. You're not gonna be like that. I understand that. Yeah. And even if you're good, it still is going to be hard. Sure. We're going to record one of your compositions, you know. You're having me on. No, no. On the last tape you sent. You serious? Yeah. We're gonna call it Dogs of the Desert. Chuck is in your contract. birthday party. Thanks for everything. Well, now that you know you can do it next time, bring your family. We've got plenty of room. I will. Thank you. 
Evening, Ruth. Oh, Johnny. Archie's gone out somewhere. Uh, could you give us a hand with this? Sure. Where do you want it? Oh, just round the back. It's Tuesday, isn't it? Yeah, all day. Have you been drinking? Not a drop. Uh, you haven't seen Jane or the girls, have you? No, I haven't seen them for a couple of days. Ruth... <clears throat> Do you know anything about a party? What party? Uh, Surprise! Happy birthday, darling. Mwah. I love you. Oh, I've got to join in. It's been a week learning this thing. Yeah. 